Wouldn't it be comforting to know exactly where your kid's school bus was at all times? With the technology that we have today, that concept seems simple enough. News 8's Matt Howerton shows us how one Dallas County father made it happen. Here we are. Two, three, four, five, six. Waiting with DISD dad Chris Roberts again. I find it sad, <laughs> to be honest. But this time. Safe to say, much less time waiting in the truck. I'm, I'm okay with that. Life is a little better. In September, we told you how Roberts waited past 6 p.m. to pick his 11-year-old daughter up from school. No thanks, of course, to a bus driver shortage DISD inherited. <laughs> Dallas County Schools used to run the district's buses, but after voters closed their doors amid a corruption scandal, the district was forced to run its own operation and started the year about 100 drivers short. The shortage of drivers uh, made routes have to double up and of course take longer. But what a difference a month can make. We had a new round of updates uh, in late September and now again on October 15th. DISD's driver shortage is down to about 70. And Roberts' pickup time? Set a new record the other day at, uh, I think, 434. He's better, but he knows it might not stay like that. Without some sort of system for communication, I took it upon myself to set one up. So he created a way for parents at his daughter's school, Spence Middle. Hey, the bus is late, on time, or early. To track where their buses are by using Slack, a free messaging and task app you'd likely find in a corporate office. About 50 parents are using it. That's right, 23 Spence routes right here. So if a bus is late, early, or on time, all a parent has to do is notify everyone on the app. Ideally, yes. It's been working so well, the district is meeting with Roberts about it because if your bus is behind, parents, because those are the folks that need to know, should be in the loop. Matt Howerton, Channel 8 News.